Hi, I'm Matthew Shimolo. Welcome to the Money Masterclass where we teach you to make, manage, and multiply money. In today's session, I'd like to challenge your mind on a subject which is actually a chapter in one of the books I had written. The book is called The Ten M's of Money. Making it, managing it, multiplying it, the mistakes, the magnetizing, the miracles of money. But today we want to look at money mistakes. Let me let you know, many people have handled lots of money, some hundreds of millions, but today are broke because they didn't know how to manage what they had. I mean, the name that comes to mind would be the pugilist, the boxer, Mike Tyson, whom in his career made 350 million US dollars. But today, is 20 million in debt well maybe with the next fight he's about to go into he might be able to <laughs> come out of those debt 20 million dollars in debt after earning 350 million dollars there are people who could have lived on a fraction of that what led to such a thing i would just tell you that primarily it comes from the fact that if you do not have the template of money making management and multiplying inside you you will not be able to multiply money that's why close to 80 percent of those who win the lottery tend to lose everything they've lost because even though the money came they do not have the 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 system for managing it and multiplying it so what are some of the money mistakes that people are likely to make let's start with uh, what I just said now. Number one, not investing wisely. So here is a man whom 350 million US dollars came into his hands and at some point was actually buying Rolls Royces that matched the suit he wore. That is not uh, the smartest step because listen, the moment the car was driven out of the showroom, it lost its value. You could not return the car and get the exact amount you paid. It lost its value. There are some things that are not asset building. They, are not in, they do not return anything on investment. Rather, they drain. The Rolls Royce will require fueling, servicing, etc. Expectations often do not match reality when it also comes to investing. Some people who even invest, uh, they do not invest wisely. They, their expectation is, is poorly. Some will put it in a savings account uh, and they do not realize that a savings account is like an emergency account where you could easily access it and take what you have there. I always like to call it a shavings account because it's like uh, the bank is shaving you and you are shaving yourself. There's risk in all investment. We are not saying take everything you have thrown into investment, but you've got to understand there's risk in all investment. However, how do I invest wisely? Do background check, make research, ask questions. When you do that, it helps you to avoid money mistake, number one, which is investment mistakes. Number two, when you spend monies on things that are more like what I call a downward investment, um, actually that are detrimental to your own health, drugs, alcohol, cigarettes. Well, I know there are some people who may be watching who are not teetotalers and who are into alcohol, but you've got to understand these are consumptions that do not add value to you Drugs, certainly, when we say drugs, we mean hard drugs, classified as hard drugs. We are not talking of medicines for your body. Hard drugs are ways of wasting money. There have been people who have handled millions of pounds and dollars, and it had gone out of their hands because they formed a drug habit, and it totally destroyed them. What shall we say of cigarettes also? It is the same thing. These are money mistakes. Number three will be spending more than your income. Spending more than your income is an assumption that you will always be in employment or that you will always have business 
or you will always have a source of income. It is a life of risk. If you will take risk, why don't you take risk in investment and saving rather than taking risk on an expected income and spending it before it comes? Many people live and surrender to these temptations and you now end up living paycheck to paycheck. You've got to learn if you want to, to if, if you feel that you are spending more than your income, then you need to increase your source of income. And you should not increase your spending, but rather increase your income. And when you increase your income, you are able to stay out of debt and you are able to also save. There are various ways to save. You might do the 50, 30, 20, 50% 50 on all your expenses, 30% on meeting bills, uh, maybe your mortgage, paying for your house, and 20%, 10% out of the 20 left to God and 10 to yourself. In other words, you tithe to God, you tithe to yourself, you spend 30% you spend taking care of uh, investments like a mortgage, and then 50% on daily expenses. But there are people who have even more income than that. You can adjust the figures as it goes.